Thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem and uh, we are finding the value of x. Now from here, let's represent a as keep root of x plus 49. And also let's represent b as keep root of x minus 49 then from there we can rewrite that equation and say this the equation given will now become a minus b which is equals to 2 then also from here we can take the key of both sides that this will take the power of 3 on both sides then this Side will become a raised to power 3 will now be equals to x plus 49 because the power of 3 on this side will cancel the cube root. Also, on this side, let's say that the cube on both sides will be the cube now will be equals to x minus 49. Now, from there, we are interested in finding the value of a plus b as well. So let's try to get the value of a plus b as well then we start by working with you know this a cube and b cube then let's subtract we have a cube minus b cube we give us so when we subtract the two now we are going to have x plus 49 then minus b cube x minus 49 so now when we simplify that we open the bracket with minus on this side so a cube minus b cube will then be equal to x plus 49 then minus x plus 49 minus a has opened the bracket then minus s plus s cancel minus s then we have 49 plus 49 and that will give us 98. So we have a cube minus b cube will now be equals to 98. So from there, we can also, you know, express the identity on the left hand side. That identity is same thing as a minus b. Then multiply by a square plus a b plus b square, which is equal to 98. So this identity gives us something like this. Then let's try to bring it, you know, let's bring this, this square to the same side. We have a minus b now multiply by a square plus b squared then plus a b so which is equal to 98 and from there let's work with this identity when we have a minus b squared when we expand this one this one will give us a squared minus 2 a b then plus b squared now let's separate a square plus b square from there. So when we separate a square plus b square from there, on this side we have a square plus b square, and we are taking minus two ab to this side, so it becomes plus. So we can say that a square plus b square will be the same thing as. So when we take minus two ab, it become plus. So it's, it's same thing as we have a minus b all square. Then plus 2ab. So instead of writing a square plus b square in this place, we can as well write a minus b all square plus 2ab. Then let's rewrite that and we have so this line become a minus b. So I will then replace that with this, which is a minus b square plus 2ab then plus the ab we have there before 
which is equals to 98 and then we can see that 2 a b plus a b will give us 3 a b then we have a minus b multiplied by a minus b all squared then plus 3 a b we then give us 98 and then we know that our a minus b is equals to 2 so from here we have a minus b is 2 so bring that here now instead of writing a minus b we can as well put 2 here so we have 2 times 2 square then plus 3 ab which is equals to 98 then this is 4. Use 2 to open the bracket. 2 times 4, that's 8. Plus 2 times 3ab, that's 6ab. Then equals to 98. Take 8 to that side, become minus. 98 minus 8, that's 90. We have 6ab equals to 90. By the time we divide both sides by 6, we have ab equals to 15. So ab is 15. We also need this one. Then we are still on the way of finding our a plus b now let's look at this identity as well so a b is 15 now still finding our a plus b so let's work with this when we have a plus b all squared minus a minus b all squared and then we expand each of it when we expand each of this, this will give us, the first bracket will give us a square plus 2ab, then plus b square, then minus the other bracket, and which will give us a square, we have minus 2ab, then plus b square. Now, when we use minus to open this bracket, this term as minus a square then plus 2ab then minus b square of course a square will cancel minus a square and b square will cancel minus b square so we have 2ab plus 2ab which is 4ab so everything here like this which is a square a plus b all square minus a minus b all square will now give us 4ab so we have that then from there since we are interested in uh, a plus b, we already know the value of a minus b, that is 2. So when we bring 2 here now, and we now have a plus b, all square, then minus 2 square, we now give us, we got the value of our a b to be 15. So we can now say 4 multiplied by 15. And when we solve that from here, we can see that from here we have our a plus b squared now we then give us equals to we have 4 times 15 here that's 60 then take this is minus 4 take it to that side become plus that will be 64 so we have a plus b when we take the square root on both sides it will be plus or minus square root of 64 and of course, a plus b will then be equals to plus or minus 8. So we got plus or minus 8 as the value of a plus b. So a plus b give us plus or minus 8. So from there, we can then say that we have two possible values of a plus b. So we are going to have two cases now. So from here now, when we bring the value of our a plus b here, so we can say our a plus b is plus or minus, plus or minus 8. Now we work with this, you know, expression here, solving it simultaneously. For case 1, we have is 1 we can say a plus b is equals to 8 and uh, a minus b 
is equal to 2. That's the first case. Then let's solve for A here. Let's add this. Let's use elimination method. Add. We have A plus A will give us 2A. Then B minus B is 0. That has cancelled. 8 plus 2, that's 10. By the time we divide both sides by 2, we see that our A here is 5. So if A is 5, so that means we can replace the value of A back here. I will now have A raised to power 3, that is 5 raised to power 3, will then be equal to X plus 49. And when we saw that 5 raised to the power 3 is 125, so we have 125 equals to x plus 49. So solving for x, take 49 here now. So we have x left, that's x equals to 125 minus 49, which will give us x equals to 76. So we have the value of x here to be 76. Now for case 2, Taking case 2 now, that is, we have the negative value here. That is a plus a plus b will be equal to minus 8 in this case. Then we together with our a minus b, which is equal to 2. So also we can add so as to eliminate b there. So when we add from there, we have 2a. B will be cancelled out. We have minus 8 plus 2. That will give us minus 6. So when we divide both sides by 2, we have A equals to minus 3. A is equals to minus 3. Also from our A raised to power 3 equals to X plus 49. We can get the value of X from here. So minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to X plus 49. So minus 3 raised to power 3 will give us minus 27. So we have minus 27 equals to x plus 49. Taking plus 49 here become minus. So remaining x is same thing as writing x equals to minus 27 minus 49. Which will give us x equals to minus 76. So we have the second value of x as x equals to minus 76. Therefore, our x is now equals to plus or minus 76. And we have come to the end of this class. We say thank you for joining us. And also subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.